Hi, I'm Costa, editor of Hooked Up Magazine. I'm here for the VFA on Port Phillip Bay to give you some quick tips on how to catch squid. When you're choosing gear to target squid, it's pretty simple and there's a few things that you need to focus on. Long rods of about eight to nine foot are really great when you're land based because they allow you to cast your jig out good distances. You want to get a reel that's about two and a half to 3,000 in size and spool that with 12 to 15 pound braid. That allow you to get good casting distance and pull your jig out of weed if you do get snagged. And the leader, you want to have it about the length of the rod and that should be about 12 to 15 pound too and it can be fluorocarbon or mono. Aside from that, you just need a good range of squid jigs in differing colours and you only need about four or five. And when you're land based, you want sizes 2.5 to 3.0 and that'll pretty much cover all bases for you. Port Phillip Bay is full of squid, so most places you're going to go to land based to target them, you're in with a really good chance to get them. The one thing that you want to look for though, is some nice reef and rubble to be casting over or weed patches, because that's where the squid will reside. Once you do get to your chosen spot, you want to use that long rod to cast the jig out as far as you can. It's really important that you let the jig sink all the way to the bottom. Once it has hit the bottom and you're certain that it has, it's time to start retrieving the jig. And you do that just with short, sharp lifts of the rod, making sure you wind up the slack as you do it. Let it sink back to the bottom and repeat and wait for the strike. I'm onto one here, it's just a small to average size. The important thing to do when you're bringing in a squid is just keep tension on the line. If you give them a little bit of slack, they, you can actually drop them. And especially now when you're land based at these last moments, is when you're going to lose them. So you can use your net when they're a little bit larger, but this guy's pretty small and my rod and line are heavy enough that I can just lift him up like this in one big swoop and bring him in. Grab in the jig, never the squid, and then that way he won't squirt all over me. And then to release your jig, just gently hold the squid, pull your jig out backwards, and there you go. A nice little eating sized squid.